The sun sets in Bloomington with the Indiana Hoosiers taking home a third consecutive double-double, winning the, the Big Ten regular season and tournament title for the third straight year. The match came down to penalties for a second consecutive tournament, and again, it was Roman Celentano as the man who stepped up to the plate and made some clutch saves. I, I felt pretty confident. Uh, we practiced penalties a lot as a team. Uh, we, I'm confident in our shooters and I'm confident in myself. And just psychologically, being Penn State, not, being a man up and not being able to put us away, it kind of wears on you, so I feel like we had the upper edge going into penalties and I'm happy it worked out. The most contentious moment of the match was when Joey Mayer brought down Daniel Blowyou when he was in on goal, getting himself sent off, and Penn State subsequently scored right after that, causing IU to go into the last few moments of regulation and into overtime with a man down. Yeah, it was a bit of a weird play. I think Muni was trying to hit the ball back to me so I could send it up the field, but it was maybe a miss hit or maybe he was touched by uh, Blowyou on, on the way there, on the way there, and then he was kind of in on goal and. It was a 2v1 pretty much, so Joey kind of had to take him down, take one for the team. Just reminded him that, one, we, we can get through this, and we just had to just dig deeper. And guys were tired and made it somewhat predictable on what we gave them. And then Roman and our defenders handled that pretty well. Um, so they didn't really get much in, the, in, in really the overtime. And, and I know that must have frustrated them. We were feeling pretty good about how we handled it. Going forward, IU now travels to Cary, North Carolina for the beginning of the NCAA tournament. Selection show on Monday will likely give them at least a top four seed, giving them a bye for the first round. Going into the second round, they will look to improve on their finish last year where they were knocked out prematurely by UC Santa Barbara and hope that it's not just a double-double this year, but maybe the quest for nine is completed. From Armstrong Stadium, I've been Jack Edwards for IUS TV Sports.